and welcome back to the video series on the MXFE evaluation platform. My name is Sydney Wells and I am an Applications Engineer at ADI. In this video, we will showcase running the AD9082 in ACE. In the previous video, we showed you how to open ACE and initialize the eval platform. On this screen, you can select one of our predefined use cases using the drop-down under Configuration Description. A few other functions available on this screen are to reset the board, change your clock source, or go directly into the Analysis tab. For now, we'll just hit Apply to configure the part. After a successful application of the selected use case, double-click the MXFE part icon to continue into device settings. On this screen, you can check the JSD status of the use case by clicking Update JSD Status. The green lights here indicate the links between the MXFE and FPGA are established. Before we get into tone generation, let's go over the configuration options in the device tab. Under quick configuration, you can scroll through all the options that ACE allows you to change. For most use cases, these configuration options will be sufficient. But for more specific use cases, register editing might be necessary. For detailed information on the settings, please refer to user guide 1578. After changing any configuration settings you require, hit apply and wait for a status message in JSD Link Lights to update. If needed, select the Proceed to Memory Map button to view and edit device-specific registers. We will now generate a tone using ADI's Digital Pattern Generator, DPG Lite. Click Get Status to confirm a successful connection. In this example, we will generate a tone using the DAC then loop back externally to the ADC input to view the tone in ACE. We will need an SMA cable to connect the output of DAC0 to the input of ADC1. We are now ready to generate and view the tone. In DPG Lite, select Single Tone from the Add Generated Waveform drop-down menu. Use this menu to enter your desired tone parameters. If you need guidance in selecting waveform parameters, refer to user guide 1578. Assign the tone to your desired DAC channels. In this case, we will be selecting DAC0. Hit download and play to start sending the signal. With our device configured and tone generated, we can perform an analysis in ACE to view the waveform in an FFT of the received signal. Click on Proceed to Analysis. Here, you can select Run Once to capture a snapshot of your received signal and alternate between waveform and FFT view. This has been an overview of using ACE with the MXFE eval platform. For more information, please visit the MXFE product page and the ACE page on the Analog Wiki. And if you have any questions, please visit the Engineer Zone page for the MXFE family. Our next videos will cover interfacing with the MXFE using APIs provided by ADI. Thanks for watching.